I want to apologize for not uploading a video yesterday, but it's been so hot here that I had to take a day off to cool off. Anyways, now I'm back and I hope you guys are ready to get back out here and do some hunting. I thought we'd start it off by doing some blacktail hunting here first. We're going to start off early in the morning. It's about 6 o'clock right now and we're going to hunt all the way throughout the day. But that's a solid looking black teal, about 270 out. We're going to take the M1 and see if we can't make a really good shot on that buck. Yup, got him. I think that's the only big buck over there. However, we do have a couple of bulls over here and there's a decent level 3. Right there, so I do want to try and take him down as well. I don't exactly know if we're going to get there in time to be able to get that bull, but if we get here... It actually could help us out in getting there in time. So I think we should be all right, because that should have been for surely a single lung shot. And they're probably going to run roughly 150, maybe 200 yards out, even with the M1. All right, so here's our buck down right here. Let's take a look at him. He had a potential to make gold. And he, in fact, is going to make gold, but what a heck of a shot. 290 yard. Perfect double lung hard shot and a 144.5 gold blacktail buck. Actually a very unique looking rack there on that thing. How in the heck did I run right past this huge blood spot here? I have no clue how I did that. But here we hit it. So we definitely figured out where he's going. Got some more blood here. And it looks like he's going up this ridge. The way that we can find out is by going over here. And yeah, we definitely should be able to find this bull. Because we're only 250 yards out. That means we still, oh yeah, there he is down right there. And here's our bull down right here. So we did in fact catch double lung at 290 yards. The reason we got double lung is because we hit the lung so low that we just barely hit the bottom. I mean, it was still an awesome shot, don't get me wrong, but hold up, we found some more black tails. I'm only seeing does so far, but there's a good chance there should be a buck around here. That is definitely an elk. And I kind of want to take down that bull, okay. If we get a shot on that bull, I'm definitely going to try and take him down. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, that's going to be a tough shot. I'm out of breath. And he went over that next ravine. All right. We should be able to get a shot off over here. All we got to do is bring him down. Doesn't have to be a perfect shot. This will definitely work out here. He's about 180 on the trot. It was going pretty good, but we might have dropped just a hair low there. It's so foggy, it's hard to actually see, but we got him. <laughs> Nonetheless, we got that bull because he didn't go like 50 yards after that shot. Um, we caught a nice right lung shot at 156 yards and a 181. All right, so I tell you what, we're going to take down this buck right here and that buck right there at about 280. Let's see if we can't pull this one off. I think it's that one. Yeah. And that one. Another buck there. We might let him be for now. Only because we got a bit of hunting pressure here. Which honestly, I think the hunting pressure might have been here before we even got here. Because I took down a white tail yesterday. And so maybe we only got... Oh no, we actually do have two. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Uh, we actually saw both the bodies there, so obviously we did get two. But clearly, we have two piled up right here. So here's this one. A 99.6. Caught him in the right lung quartering away. Going kind of right for the heart at 290. And then this buck here ended up getting him in the left lung at 290. Perfect shot right there. But a 123. We just came across a really nice herd of whitetail here. In fact, there's three pretty decent bucks here. I have seen them drinking maybe like 100 yards to the east, but I've never seen them out in this open out here. So if you look at the map, I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're by the Heighton River here. I have them drinking over here, which is about 200 yards out. But right now, they're feeding over here. And uh, normally, I see a big group of does. But the fact that we have so many bucks here... Makes me think that this is a whole entire different herd of whitetails. Now, that buck there is a pretty impressive buck, but that's actually the biggest one. However, we really don't have a good shot on him. But I think we might try and squeeze it into the heart there at about 160. If we can do that, we should be able to get a follow up and take down this buck here if this doe actually steps out of the way. So let's see if we can't do that. 160 yards out, we're zeroed in dead on. I 
I mean, it should have been an awesome shot. Okay, it was. Good. He went down. Uh, and then that buck we dropped. Perfect. Yeah, I was going to say, I was holding for the heart. So, a lot of times when you take that shot and you see him run, you get a little bit hesitant. Because you feel like, well, that should have dropped him. But either way, we still caught lung. So, that's what counts. So, here's the second biggest buck here. And a 187 got a vertebrae spinal cord shot at 160. Not a bad shot. And then this buck here is going to be the big old buck. A 212. We caught a right lung shot at 169. Looks like we we're just barely a little bit too high of the heart there, but still a pretty good shot. Right lung and a really nice white tail down. Ooh, we got a real good bull there. That is a guaranteed goal potential bull. 169 yards out, I think. Maybe 200. He's actually behind a little ledge there. Um, so if we get any closer, we're not going to be able to take the shot. You see that? Because he's kind of behind that little little hill right there. So if we took the shot here, it's fine. But then we have to obviously instantly run over there. What I'm thinking is maybe we can cross right here. If we can cross there, then we'll take the shot, stay in run mode, and just run over there as fast as we can. Because we don't want to lose him due to the render glitch. 170 probably? It's really hard to tell there, but... Man, that's going to be a tough shot. It's going to be a real tough shot. Wow. Let's back up over here more. Alright, that's good. That is definitely a good shot. We got to get there quick, though. He's going to run quite a ways. What do we got trying out there now? That's another solid bull. But I don't think he's going to be as big as the one that we just shot at is. That is a tiny looking bull there. Got a call from a coyote over here. But I don't want to lose this bull. So let's get back on the track here. And see if we can't figure out what direction he's going. Well, hello. Was he further back? He was actually way back up in here. Wow. Never would have guessed that. He was way back. Oh, no wonder why. Because he was behind that hill. This is why we couldn't see him very good. Because right here is Vital Blood. He was running up this way. Let's try and get back on his track here. We tracked him for about 180 yards. And here he is piled up right here. So yeah, as long as you run the whole way, you won't lose any animals like that. But a solid looking bolt, 222 gold. Took a nice right lung shot at 237 yards. Now you gotta remember the hill was like right here. So we basically didn't have much to work with. We put that thing pretty much right where we wanted it to be though. So that's all you can really ask for, you know? There's the coyote I heard before. I kind of want to go after this coyote here real quick, depending on... Yeah, let's definitely go after this coyote. And we can always change the time back to... Uh, well, before 9 o'clock, because that's when the elk should still be around. And I won't mind finding a decent bull around here somewhere. I do have the 243 as well, so if we jump up this coyote, we can definitely use the 243 for him. It's pretty thick here, though, so I feel like we should probably try and jump him up. Otherwise, we're never going to be able to see him. You can sit here and wait for this coyote to come in for 20, 30 minutes and you won't see him. And he'll be like 50 yards away or less from you. But they're just so elusive that it's really, really difficult to find where they're at. Oh, we got whitetail tracks here. Nice. I just jumped up the coyote. I saw him running this way. In fact, is he trying to cut back? What is he doing? Oh! There he goes, there he goes. Right there. Oh, that's a perfect shot. That's what I'm talking about. Nice coyote down. In fact, this actually isn't even the one that we're tracking, I don't believe. Maybe it is. Um, I think, yeah, it might have been. Perfect double lung shot on the run at 34 yards and a 45.5. Not bad, our first coyote of the hunt. Now, one thing I have noticed in the live stream, the fur on the coyotes is actually going to be a little bit different. It looks like it's more realistic. It looks like it's more furry. Like here, you can see it's kind of a clean cut all the way around. Um, the one in the live stream looks like even the legs have more hair on them. So it looks a lot more. I thought we jumped up another one. 
How in the heck did I miss that shot? I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath and I can't even zoom in anymore. And we just smoked this coyote right here on the spot. It looks like a non-vital hit though. So maybe we hit him twice. Yeah, we hit him twice. Okay, so we didn't exactly do the greatest, but it was only a four. Okay, good, good, good. And we ended up pulling off an intestine shot followed by a back hind leg shot. So that first shot actually did connect or just a hair too far back. Nonetheless, we definitely got him though. I just caught eyes on another really good bull moose. He was over there trotting at about 200 yards out. He cut across this river here and I couldn't actually get a shot, but he should be turning around here any minute now. In fact, that's his track right in front of us there. And there he is right there. Doesn't have a great estimate, but he's definitely a good looking bull. Man, is he on the trot. That sucker's about to come right past us. Um, I kind of want to use the bow, but he's going to spook. So let me try and catch the lung, which I think we got, I hope. Oh boy. I just messed that up. How many times did I hit him? I see him running there. That's not him. That's a cow. We got pretty good blood here. Oh no, we definitely got him good. In fact, he's piled up right there. Nice. Um, but here's our bull down. Let's take a look at him. He is going to be a gold. Actually, that first shot did connect. 30 yards out, we pulled off a double lung shot and a 214 gold. So that was open sights with the M1. We tucked it right behind that front shoulder and just missed the back of the heart. But a solid bull down. There are elk and blacktail over there. But that is a max weight blacktail buck. And I'm pretty sure there's an elk right in front of it. I just can't get a spotting on it though. There's so many does and bucks over there that I can't get a spotting on what I'm pretty sure has got to be an elk. Another good buck there. But not only that, if we took the shot here, it's not really possible to get over there and get that. I have a tent here, but it's going to be long gone. We're not going to be able to get this buck from here at least, but we'll keep it marked. So if we get around this point, then we could probably get close enough to be able to take a shot. Woo. Not a bad running shot on that bull there. I figured we might as well take him down. I doubt our blacktail is going to spook. Watch, he's going to pile up right in front of us. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, they're a little bit tougher than you think. He's down. Either way, he piled up right there. Um, But hopefully our buck didn't... Nope. He's still there. Perfect. Uh, Yeah, let's go over here and grab this bull. He's got that messed up looking rack. And anytime I see one of those, I always want to take them down out of the herd because they're really kind of messed up looking but we pulled off a running stomach liver shot and that was a 16 yard shot and it looks like just one cow elk over there there's our max weight black tail buck and from this position here i think we actually could take the shot and then get over there in time without actually losing it from the rendering glitch but we would have to absolutely drop that buck at about 290 which i feel like we should be able to do that Yep, we definitely did just that. Okay, perfect. So he's piled up there. We can cross right here. And I just want to put a marker out just so we don't lose where that buck is at. And uh, as long as we don't cross the 450 yard mark, I think it is, we should be fine. So it seems to me like we're going to get somewhere around probably close to 400 yards, but we should be fine. Because the thing is, we got to kind of loop around here and then go back up. Uh, along that riverbank. There's a couple more blacktails. Decent level three. 
Oh, another good black deal. That's a gold potential buck. Nice level four. So we'll definitely take him down. And then we just got to go over there to get our buck. We're at about 350. Yeah, we should be about 400 yards out here any second now. But let's get on this buck here. Is that the one I wanted? Yeah, that's the one. 255. And that'll take him down. So we just got to go around here now and get those bucks. Tell me I can cross here. Okay, good. Barely, but still good. Now we're looking at about 411 yards. Now is when we got to be careful. All right, don't go any further that way. Stay inside. See, now we're trying to hug as close to our mark as we possibly can as we're trying to get over here. Because we do not want to cross that 440 or 450 yard mark, which would make them disappear. So as long as we're going towards him now, we should be fine. All right, here he lays. Let's take a look. Perfect heart shot and a left lung at 260, a 143 gold. Straight through the heart, right into the left lung there. Not a bad looking buck. Actually, I think that's like our second biggest uh, black tail so far. Gonna call from a bull moose. All right, let's find our buck. There's our buck right there. It worked, guys. So, like I said before, you want to be somewhere around 440. Basically, here's the thing. Stay inside of 400. Oh, there was a couple more bulls back there. Uh, he's not impressive, though. They're both about the same. But for rendering right now, you want to stay inside 440 yards. I'm not exactly sure in meters, but stay inside 440 yards for sure. And you will not lose your animals. But make sure you stay inside that. Anyways, that's going to be our biggest black tail so far, a 151 gold, and we pulled off a 292 yard perfect double lung heart shot. And that guy is getting mounted because he does have a pretty interesting rack. Any minute now. Should be crossing right over there. Oh, white tails. Hello. Nothing impressive, but I mean... There is a buck out there. Two bucks out there. Do we take a shot at those bucks? We gotta go that way anyways. We probably should. Well, would have absolutely smoked that one, but it started trotting. We got a decent hit into him. And a pretty good hit there. We got intestine on the first one, so... You shouldn't go too far. Anyways, like I said, we got to go this way anyways, so. So, yeah, we hit the one white tail right here. And I think that's going to be an intestine hit. And the second buck we hit over here, which that is going to be a vital hit. But the one that we hit in the intestine is actually... Oh, no, this is the one that we vital hit. Okay. So, we'll grab this one first. Nice left lung on the trot at 257 or 152. Keep an eye out for those bulls. They gotta be over there somewhere. But for the time being, here's our buck. And yeah, stomach shot 148. Jackpot. There is our first big level four, Roosevelt Elk. He is a guaranteed gold potential bull. And he's definitely the biggest one that we've seen so far. Well, at least we found the bulls. There are a ton of bulls out here, actually. Look at them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bull elk here. There's a cow right there. But they are just stacked up in here. Everywhere. Bull. Bull. Cow. I think that's it over there. Bull. Anyways, there's our big bull that we want right there. Broadside at about 2.30. Make sure we're in run mode here. And get on this bull, which is right there. Should be a perfect shot. Let's get over there quickly. And that should be fine. Look at all the elk tracks up in here. Man, no wonder why we couldn't find any elk all day. 
because they're all sitting right here. Look at them all. Just stacked up in there. I think that's a level three, right? Yeah, it's a level three. I mean, we should probably try and take down at least one more decent bull. I mean, they're all pretty much the same. Maybe that one? If that one's going to give us a shot, we're not going to pass it up. So we got that bull down. We got a vital hit right there. It's going to be kind of difficult to find. Oh, I guess he's laying right here. <laughs> so I guess he's not going to be too difficult to find. Here he is. And he's going to be a gold, a 296 left lung liver shot at 228 yards. Actually, it was kind of a perfect shot. I thought we were too low and far back, but... That was a pretty good shot and our biggest bull so far. I'm super pumped with that. Oh, hold up. We got white tails out here. Let's crouch down and maybe get a bit of a better look. Not a bad buck there. Ooh, really wide good looking buck there. There's a small bull from before and another very impressive white tail buck. So two really good bucks. I don't really know where they're going to go. Bad wind. Okay, I see what's going on here. Change of plans. Big old buck's gonna bolt here soon. That's him right there. Oh, you aren't going anywhere, buck. You are not going anywhere, buck. He's down for the count. And I think we smoked our bull. And that almost was an awesome shot, but we didn't quite get that buck. Oh, I think we did pretty decent, though. But I think I want to hold off for that buck to come back. No, change of plans. We're taking down that bull. He's down. We got one of the bucks. That's good enough. I was right. We did get both bucks. This is the buck that I wanted to get. Okay, awesome. So he's a 191.6 silver. Then this buck here, I think was actually like the third biggest buck. Which was decent, but definitely not. Okay, liver shot. Yeah, that's the third biggest buck that we got. Liver stomach shot. And we're getting a call from a coyote out here. I hear you and I see you which is all we need to make an awesome shot as a matter of fact he is going to be a gold 275.7 as a level three so our second biggest bull so far first shot smoke the vertebrae and the second shot got him on the run and that actually saved him and got us a gold because of it that's pretty cool well, looks like we might not have made such a good shot on that coyote because... Oh, no, it's right here. Huh. Um, not such a good shot. Perfect shot. Heart shot at 150 yards out and a 38.9 female. We got another really good whitetail buck out there, but he's 415 yards away. So we're going to have to instantly run after we take this shot. Uh, We're empty. Well, <laughs> we can try and use the 243. <laughs> oh my God. I don't even want to do this. You know what? I have a tent right here. We're going to go grab some more bullets for the 30 odd six because it's already risky enough as is. And there's no way I'm going to take that shot with a 243. Just no way. All right. Let's try that again. Not only that, he was actually quartering a little bit too much for my comfort. So hopefully now he's at a little better angle for a shot. Yeah, he's actually at quite a bit of a better angle here. He's about 390 still, but he's in a little bit too much brush. So we're going to have to try and slide back here and get a little bit more to the right so we can get that shot and not be in the brush. I'm thinking that should work. That could definitely work. 
We're still at about 416, so we gotta be in run mode here. Here we go. I think that's him right on the front. Yeah, that's him. Oh yeah, I felt really confident about that shot. <sighs> like, that was going right for the heart. Um, there's a buck piled up right here and there's a buck piled up right over there. I don't know which one is which, but all I know is both of them are down right here. Let's take a look at this one. There it is. 425 yard perfect shot man we barely missed the heart there you see how i said we we're going right for the heart i felt super confident about that and man did we put that thing right on the money in a 218 gold white tail buck our biggest buck of the entire hunt at 425 yards so with that that's actually going to be probably the last time we're going to hunt on Layton lakes for white tail ever again pretty much we're probably gonna only hunt mexico for quite a while anyways that's gonna be it i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time